Hi and welcome to this week's SEO video blog. This week's news is that Google have released some new feature within Webmaster Tools which is called the Keyword User Interface. It basically provides a list of keywords that Google identifies are related to your site. Google also mentioned in the blog that this tool is very useful for helping to identify pages that may have been hacked on your website. It does this by identifying uh, keywords that are not associated with your website and can help you identify which pages may be affected. We also think it might be helpful for if you're optimising for a specific phrase and it doesn't appear in the list, then you may not have mentioned that phrase enough in your context or optimising it enough throughout your site. Now we'll take a uh, look at some other useful options available in Webmaster Tools. So we're logged into Google Webmaster Tools and for this example we're just going to look at instinctivehorsetraining.co.uk. We're on the dashboard page and the dashboard essentially gives us uh, a few summary tabs. First of all we've got top search queries which identifies some of the most popular searches for the website and also their rankings in Google. Over on the right we've got crawl errors, um, which is essentially a summary of a, a section we're going to show you in a moment. Just underneath that you can see the new keyword interface that we mentioned in the news feature, so it's telling us which keywords Google relates to our website. Also quite an interesting tab is links to your website. This uh, shows you how many incoming links you have to your homepage, but also some of the internal pages as well. So if you look over on the left in Google Webmaster Tools you can see diagnostics and uh, crawl errors. So if we click on that, the crawl errors essentially shows you any problems that the Google bot had when it spidered your website, so any dead links, um, any restrictions by the robots file, just gives you a summary here and helps you to identify any problems on the website that you can fix. Uh, there's also HTML suggestions, which is one we use quite a lot, which is again just here on the left under diagnostics. And uh, this is essentially Google's recommendations on anything from duplicate page titles to duplicate meta tags. Um, any sort of problems in your website that it would recommend that you change to improve the SEO on the website. This week's showcase piece is a link analysis tool called SEO Spyglass. You can download the free trial of the tool at link-assistant.com forward slash SEO hyphen spyglass. We're going to do a full tutorial next week on how to use the features of it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our YouTube channel or on our blog.